Casi hubo. <laughs> Who all dogs are triggered? Oh my goodness. Jeez. Melele is the heart of Africa. It's a place where you find hope. It's a place where you find life. It's a place where you can start a new life. Because we've got everything that you need. You can have an idea and it, it can prosper. You can look for the best people you find them. We've got everything. When I came to Masifumelele, it was a place I thought I would never stay for two days. Because first thing, there were too many people. It looked so dead. Everybody playing music, dancing and that and this. Fights, all this stuff. But when I wanted to walk away, my heart told me that my change should begin here because I saw many people with talents, people who wanted to change their lives, but they needed a platform. So I decided to sit in Masp Melele and make it a home of my success. Welcome to the mother city, Cape Town, South Africa. So today I have connected with a friend. Hey, what's up? What's up, people? How you doing? All good, all good. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Masi Pumelele, Masi South Pumelele. Africa. Some places Town, that you may not see if you are not shown. Uh -huh. So, we do this so that you can see, learn, and understand how some other people live their oh, lives. Wow. Yeah. You can see a big are. difference from where we came from. Right, you exactly. <laughs> So you see all these shops and stuff, all these small businesses, uh -huh. they're, mainly, they're mainly being run by South Africans, Zimbabweans, Kenyans, Ghanaians. A lot of them are foreigners. Right. Ah. Well, a lot of you oh, told me that I need to show you uh, the other side of Cape Town, how people live here. And today I'm in one of the township. It's called Masi Pumelele and I just linked up with some of the people who live here and they're going to be showing me life in this place. Hello. Hi, hi guys. Hello. How's everybody doing? Uh, my name is Teddy. I do arts and culture project with kids. This is Lucia. We work together. Uh -huh. That's that Lucia. Also photography. Yeah, photography and videos dance. and dance groups. What else do we do? Yeah. We eat also. We eat. <laughs> All right, so these two are definitely going to be showing me around this place today, how they live here, and I'm so excited about it. How long have you been here? Uh, nearly 13 years for me. 13 uh, years and you? It's six years. Yeah. Plus or oh, six years is. All right. Hey guys, we have like, oh, where is my guru? They're gone. In business. They're gone. Not bad. But we, we usually do e e business here. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. hey, so guru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they cook so, meat here. The they what they do, meat, they cook meat, meat, and their meat is so beautiful. It's nice. That's what we do. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you. Yeah, few. No, no, more people. Internet cafe. <laughs> we also have internet cafes. Okay, let's keep going. Thank you. And in mass, it's very windy. It's windy, windy, it's windy, windy. And we have got population of more than 35,000 here in a small community area. And then the place is um, too small, yes. Too but small. everybody is living, doing a lot of stuff. Some they're doing their own businesses. Um, we have many people here, we are always busy. We are surrounded by a white, white community areas where people work there, like from the morning until late. That's until what we do. Night, yes. Oh, so the people are working in the white neighborhood? Most of them. Most of them. 99% of people who are staying here, they work in restaurants, in um, people's houses. They yeah, work, actually the work for white people, most of them. Yes. And a few, they do businesses for themselves. For That's themselves, what as you see here. Yeah. Yeah, this is another place of one of our fellow brothers who does selling stuff. And I don't know where, I don't see where he is. Wait. 
Okay. 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 We've got a surprise here. This is Mdaru Nopi, one of our Zimbabwean elders. Yes. This man has been so. living with us, has been supporting us with everything as we are planning even to gather together people from Africa and communicate and unite. He's one of the elders that we always come and talk to. Mr. Okay. Nopi, welcome. This How long you've been living here? Yeah, about 12 years now, yes. yes. Uh -huh. And what do you love about? South Africa. People, pe people here are actually gorgeous. The beautiful people, they all coming us, they know our situations, they are willing to stay with us as long as we stay with them good as well, in, you see. Uh -huh. So that's that's very, very good. I'm happy. All the right. people are happy here. Yes, all right. Sure. Good business. Yeah, doing good business. We bought the vegetables, we bring them vegetables closer to them. We sell them to sell them the, some vegetables, we bring some stuff from Zimbabwe. Um, Organic food, you know, all this stuff comes from Zimbabwe. Then people love it. Uh -huh. People love it a lot. Mm. All right, thank you. Thank oh, thank wow. You so much. Wait, it has been so a much. short conversation. I thought we were going to talk for almost an hour. <laughs> <laughs> I, would I, would I would love to talk you on and on. Else you have something else you want to say. You have something else you want to say. Yeah, well, I can say uh, I wish the best for our country, you know, uh -huh. if things can work well and then we can as well go back and stay back home. With our families in Zimbabwe. Yes. In Zimbabwe, yeah. All right. Sure, sure, All sure. Right. We hear you. Thank you so much for oh, your time. Oh, it's a pleasure. More than welcome. All right, mm. appreciate it. Really, yes. Okay. <laughs> thank you oh, so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, sister Yeah, Pila. It's a shoot. It's a shoot. documentary. Hi, what's So, how much does housing cost here? Uh, probably it depends. it depends what size of it. Maybe room. as we're moving, you can show us uh, uh, approximately. Yeah. Some like, places actually they are 1,500 a room. Uh, rand. A room, yes. A room. Uh -huh. And uh, some shakes they're 400, 300, it depends. 500. Okay. It depends on the size of the shake. Uh -huh. And uh, the whole, the full house probably start from 3,000, 3.5, 4,000. Okay. Yeah, that's what they, that those are the cost for their houses mostly. All right. Yeah. yeah, that's. So this is this is where we, we stay. We've got uh, so many people living here. As I said, we are more than thirty five thousand. You can hold it with your hand. You want to talk. We are more than thirty five thousand, and then the idea of us living here is amazing because this is the only place in South Africa which is uh, known of peace. Uh -huh. e even during um, the times of xenophobia, uh -huh. uh, this place never happened to be affected. Uh -huh. uh, why not? Why? Because people here, the elders, actually the community leaders, yeah. they gather together and they talked with um, FBOs, church members, uh -huh. to talk about um, reconciliation and understanding of other people. I love this place. I love everything about this place. So these are other business people who are selling tomatoes, others they are doing meat. That's how Those. they do it. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take you to other guy from Ghana. Okay. I believe Ghana, if it's not Ghana, it's... Um, he, I believe he speaks Swahili. I'll ask him when, I, when we get there. All He's right. got a shop there behind, in front of us. All right. Thank you. You see how amazing this place is? It is. The majority of people uh, staying here are South Africans and Zimbabweans Zimbabweans. and Malawians. Oh. Lida! Yeah. Peter, are you there? I'm dying. Why are you dying? Why are you dying? Do you sell this this no. sim card or we take it? <coughs> we, we came here for free. Do you speak Swahili? No, I can't speak Swahili. Which language do you speak? I'm speaking I can't I'm from Ghana. Oh, Ghana. From Ghana. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <please. laughs> I don't speak Swahili. Um, in How Africa. long have you been here? Uh, now almost 14 years now. Oh. Okay, sorry. Four, uh, 14 years. 14 years, yeah. Oh, how do you find uh, life here in South Africa? <laughs> okay, but so, but so far it's good, ne? but it's only that the problem you are facing here is just a score is criminals, they are too much here, robbing right. is too much. Only that is a problem, our problem. Yeah. If it's not like that, the community, me, I don't have a problem with anybody. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, do you look forward to maybe going to Ghana, back to Ghana, or do you often go back there? Yeah, uh, okay. Fine, it's my country. Ghana is my country. I can go. I can do I go there, but I'm not saying that I'm going to. I'm going to stay. Yes, I can go and come back because I can see. Okay, the business I'm making here uh -huh. so, so far so good. It's good for me. All right, yeah. all right. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time. Okay.
Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you so much, Peter. You're an amazing, you're an amazing man. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Yes, bud. Thanks, my brother. Okay, these are the, some of my best friends in South Africa. You see, these are my best friends. So. Um, these are the people who are actually supporting and yes, giving us support, support as big support. foreigners, as brothers. Uh -huh. This is um, what? Bongas. He's <laughs> <laughs> shy. He's shy. Thank you so much, guys. We're just doing a short film short. for um, for the community. Oh, no, there's yeah. no problem. Yes. All right. Who no, I thought this was the guy? Uh -uh, it's not. Uh -uh, it's so the guy of the community. <laughs> always, always. So these. Are Thank you for your support, from? guys. From Eastern Cape. Oh, from Eastern Cape. No, I'm from Eastern Cape, all right. Queenstown. Queenstown? Yeah. Oh, all right. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Tembani. Oh, nice to meet you. Tembani, yeah. All right. Thank you. I'm Thank staying you. there, but I like the park. Thank you so all much. Right. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so Only two seconds is, is enough. Baba Masura say, Moshe. This is the Malawi flag. <laughs> oh, this is the This is a Malawian flag. Yes, yeah, this is the Mala. Yeah, this is the flag of Malawi. Oh. Yeah, so it's probably the owner is Malawian. Or maybe Nigerian. Yeah. Brazilian. Brazilian. All right. <laughs> so it's a Biafran flag. It's not Malawi flag. It's from yeah. Ghana. Yeah. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Hello. Yeah, how are you? I'm good. What's your name? My name is Henry. Henry, where yeah. are you from? I'm from Biafra. From Biafra, so yes. this is your flag. Yeah, this is our flag. <laughs> Where's Biafra in Africa? Yeah, Biafra is like a Lusutu in South Africa. Okay. Yeah, we fought a war with Nigeria. From uh -huh. 1967 to uh -huh. 1970. Uh -huh. Now, still now, we are still fighting for the freedom uh -huh. to have our independence. Uh -huh. Even though I think in July or June this yeah. year, yeah. our leader was uh, kidnapped in Kenya airport uh -huh. down to Nigeria. Uh -huh. So now we are trying to talk how to get the referendum from Nigeria. Okay. To get our independence. All right. That is what is the situation now. Okay. Yeah. So how long have you been living in South Africa? I've been living here now for 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Oh, how do you find life here? What do you love about South Africa? Yeah, South Africa is a very good country. And uh, I see the way they treat the, uh, the foreigners, they are trying. Uh -huh. Some of the mis uh, miscreants, some of the people who used to give South Africa a bad name, uh -huh. they used to treat us like we are not the same. Uh -huh. But I've been living here for a good 10 years now. I don't have any problem with anybody. Uh -huh. But uh, sometimes they have something they call Luzanophobia, uh -huh. which is, is a few people used to do it, not all South Africans. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. You I much. appreciate your time. Thank you. All have right. a nice day. You too. Thanks. Okay. okay bye bye. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. <laughs> hi. Okay. This is Kim. This is Kim. She's, one of my, she's, she's an artist. This is my Kim. She's an artist. She does music. Can oh, you say she hi? sings. Yeah. yeah, but I'm wearing gowns. Yeah, yeah, guys. I call it. Okay. It's, okay. She says, it's okay. No, just sing. Just sing. Me? Whatever. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Next time. But tomorrow I need to see you by the home. Okay. Are you coming? Yeah. I'm okay, Kim. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Sometimes it's windy like for two two weeks, two months. Yeah. Summer is uh, is coming late to Cape Town. Yeah. Yeah. It's summer already, but we we, didn't, we haven't got summer yet. Uh huh. It's very windy. Extremely windy. Yeah. You should come summer. When is summer? And then you see how we dress January approximately. You right, guys? Yapila. So what happens during summer? Summer, everybody is wearing because it's hot. Everybody's uh -huh. wearing summer clothes and people are happy. Parties uh -huh. every day. And uh -huh. all these streets will be full filled with people who are playing music and dancing. Oh, really? The bad part about it is um, young children, they tend to kill each other. Why? They just fight. This confusion of young generation seeking for power. Uh -huh. They just tend to fight and then the next thing they kill each other with knives. Oh. That's what happened. Sad. And probably we are working together to take the kids out of the streets uh -huh. through NPOs, uh -huh. through the community organizations that we are building churches and stuff. Yeah. But we're doing a lot. 
change is coming and it's promising. The problem that we are too many in a small place, that's, that's the problem that we have. So, do you think if I was alone in this neighborhood right now, yeah. I would be safe? No, you, yes, you'll be safe, definitely yes. This what? is the safest place ever that you can walk and Like things. I can just walk, oh, the wind! <laughs> yeah, the wind is very... Mm. Pasta! Oof. Oh, let me wear my mask. <laughs> <laughs> <Shop there. laughs> it's blowing dust to my mouth <laughs> and eyes. You see, the, the idea, if you're working alone here, you should be safe right now. Yeah. This place is the safest place ever. Yeah. People here in the community, they support each other in terms of protecting each other against crime. Uh -huh. We're going to go there by the hall. Okay. So going down there, we will go to the, to the hall. Community hall. Hey, it's windy. It's very windy. Yeah. Yeah, that's our hall here. That's our community hall. This is where. Um, this is our community hall. This is that's our the community library. hall. The community Beautiful hall. small yeah. community what, hall. What happens at the community hall? <laughs> we so oh. host events, ne? Mm -hmm. That's good. Host uh, events, meetings. Uh, those Sasa people, they came to assist like a community for Sasa Grant. They also come here in and meet this, with us meet with us with our needs all right and that's yes. the library next one that's this is the library. library the next one then we're having a, a park uh -huh. yeah that's for children for children that's yeah, yeah they each they you chill here yeah. yeah okay let's get inside we can yeah a lot of content yes <laughs> all the kids so, plays and do their stuff yeah they mm. kids they're playing like chilling others uh -huh. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hi, bo. Hi, bo. Hello. <laughs> so they play here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the Masi. This is a small. This is. This is nice detail. Oh, yeah. Hi, Mdanam. The right? Oh, yeah. I don't see, see, right? Is that safe, ne? Okay, you can come. People and then they rest. You. They are having a backyard like this one. Ah, uh -uh. but I believe yes. it. Yes. Right. Thank yes. you. Okay. Yeah, go well, yes. Maloeni. This room is empty or what? Oh, this place is a little bit quiet, ne? Uh -huh. It's not the same like where we started up there. But here, our number of houses are made of iron sheet. Yeah, most of them. Most of them, but uh, there is also brick <coughs> buildings. Um, oh, the ones at the front are the ones made of sheets. Yeah, yes. the one which we, we're gonna go through is made of um, iron sheets. The one okay. we call it in Kuku. In Kuku, like yeah, that, the place is in between. Shacks, yeah. Yeah, shacks. Zimbaku, like uh, what does Zimbaku mean in Kosa? Is, yeah, in Kosa, Zimbaku. And then the meaning of corner? It's like shacks. Okay. It's where it's only shacks only. Oh, okay. There's no. Bring like houses. Here, yes, houses. Yeah. Sorry. Ah, the driver's almost gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, we, so, so uh, how much would a house cost, like renting here, like the people uh, staying here? Is like it, it's, the, it's the same money that they've got the same prices. Remember, uh -huh. we are living in a, in a community where people um, are interacting, so they communicate and they talk already before they. They, so they, the price I said, Cheja, I will write that, Molinda. Okay. We are going to Chief. Moja right. Sharp, Jim Kul. Okay. Kwazulu. There is Kwazulu. What is Kwazulu? It's an Most area. It's, it's an area, and it's it's been divided into groups. So we call it Kwazulu. The wind. Chief, long time no see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much again. 
This is quite Zulu, yeah. Shut up. Too much. Yeah, this is quite Zulu, yeah. This is where most sheikhs are. It's a place where uh, there are many sheikhs down there. There is. There's oh no my gosh. <laughs> 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 you, you're gonna go right. So yeah, this is Gua Zulu. Upon a corner, Imi Kukuyotua in only shakes, yeah. Only Imi Kukuyotua. <laughs> so yeah. But right. Saw our garbage here. They're peed. Yeah. It's where we they park their cars here. Yeah. We and too much shakes. too much wind yes and of course a lot of people yeah so is this oh this is a restaurant yeah for uh -huh. Ramakunya, but now it's closed all right yeah the view is great though yeah the view is great it's bright. like the view oh. you're seeing the mountains on yeah. that side there's a mountain and no duke there's a suburbs next to if you can go down there you can see the suburbs over there just after kwazulu yes after kwazulu but it's 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 not that far but far uh-huh yes <laughs> what is it called no duke yeah it's where how do you go this way or that way i don't know this way so we can it. just go there eh? do you know this way no, i don't really know this road but i know this road but we can just use it to go up, to go up. Yeah. all right Going out. yeah it's where people like we stay here uh -huh. it's total different from that yeah, one yes. it's very different very different yes there's even story buildings yes wow wow wow, wow. this is very very different very different hey, this boy, must celeb. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say <laughs> he said we must, we must not take pictures of him <laughs> yes moleni moleni okay so um, sorry 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 <laughs> i'm gonna break my leg yeah. <laughs> i'll just break sure. it <coughs> go straight so how long have you lived here been here yeah it's been uh, six years from now you from been... south africa sorry you from south africa yes when i'm from eastern cape uh-huh in Nilbode, my township it's where I grow there and I, I was raised there. Uh -huh. I went to school there. Uh -huh. Then I came back here in Cape Town. Uh -huh. Two years to, to come and start my, my sorry. To start here? Yeah? My, my public admin course uh -huh. in College of uh, First Bail College uh -huh. in Fishhook. Yeah, it, it's like this. I was trained from people from here. You don't have. There's no sewer line. Some places yes. So they do uh -huh. have. Some places um. They don't have. They don't have. Oh okay. Yay. Sorry, Baba. Right. So yeah, Kunjena Aba. It's like this. Uh huh. We call it a wetland. Wetland. Yes, a wetland. Okay. So as I was saying, like we. We are being divided. This is what Kwazulu they call it. Oh, B, A, B, or Z. Uh -huh. Now we're coming to these new ones. These ones are new. Still part of Kwazulu? Nope. Uh. They, they are saying it's like go B because they A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and to Z. Uh huh. Yeah. So, yeah. These are my friends. They are coming from church. Say hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> they are coming from church. Yeah, I think so. So yeah. Uh huh. 
Hello guys. So yeah. Masi Pumelele. This is Masi yeah. Pumelele, yes. South Africa. Yes. The safest township in Cape Town. In South Africa. In South Africa in general. In South Africa in general. Oh great. Yes. Careful, careful, get out of the road. This is so young. Oh my god. <laughs> you're not the star, you're the star. <laughs> so this is it. Um, one thing I like about people is um, we always have to sit down and solve things. I believe in peace. Uh -huh. I believe that things is going to be all right. Uh -huh. Because for many years now, the interaction of people from different countries and South Africans has given us another chance of knowing people, their culture, their tradition, yes. their religion, how they believe, how they, they believe. do things. I believe the future is coming clear that Africans will unite. Whether we unite in the toilet, whether we united in the roof, whether wherever we are, but the reality is Africa is coming together. Absolutely so true. My true, wish yes. is to send a message to leaders and those who become leaders in Africa that will they please unite so that for the sake of the future of Africa. Yes. Uh, I want them to I want them to believe that young people will raise what they leave. I want to age war and conflicts in politics. Yeah, it's destroying true. the future of young people. Yes. And everybody's getting out. They leave this division among blacks. Our enemy today is not a white man. Our enemy is another black brother. Yes, black Our brother. enemy is another black brother who is after another black brother. black brother. It's time that we as Africans, we came together, we unite, yes. and then we say no war, we go for peace. Go we accept peace. people according to their abilities and their skills and their information knowledge. That's what we are advocating for peace in yes. Africa. And also love, because well, nowadays know. people, they don't okay. have love. Good. Love, peace. You must That's first love. The, that's the idea of life, love and peace. Love Thank you so peace. much, Lucia. So, I have been seeing intermarriages growing in our communities where uh, foreigners are getting married to South Africans. Yes. We are raising kids from different um, angles. Yes. And I've discovered that these children now, they're almost to 15, 20, 30 years, some of them. Yes. So it means that the next generation in South Africa is going to be a mixed race. Yes. So if people keep on f forcing division among nationalities, they don't see what is coming. Change is being forced by nature. So I wish leaders could sit down, break all the borders, let Africans work together. Yes. Let Africans share their stories, share their history, share their um, food, share their beliefs, share the way they want to do unity in Africa. That's what we're advocating for. Yes. It's a simple thing and it's easy. We just need to break down laws that we did not put for ourselves. Yes. That does not benefit us as well. Thank you for watching UCC. This She's going to be amazing. Yeah, very amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. We are yeah. Hello guys, hello. Are you good? Hello. The right? right? Thank you guys. Do they want us to go back there? I don't know what they want. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi Bo. Auntie, this is where you are. Oh, everybody's here. Are we? Yes, auntie. Um, okay, fine. My name is Fungisa Eloise Mbewe, but actually in ghetto everywhere I use a nickname Mafundanga. Uh -huh. I'm just a person who socializes with people and as I see Maspumelele, it's just a community look like a family. You see. We are all around surrounding the area, we help each other. Once you have a duty, an extra duty, you can give another person opportunity to do that. Once it's going with your hands and your mind, that's the only thing. And we are very lucky because we are surrounding white people, as you can see around here. It's the, one of the locations that is surrounding with white people. So as youth, we've got the opportunity of doing things around here. 
and we are so blessed. We wish the best because the criminal rates is also low. We can walk freely, but there's a risky time. But so we are just it's a open maspumelele. Are you from South Africa? No, I'm from Zimbabwe. Oh, you from Zimbabwe? Yes. Oh, how long you been here? I've been here for two years, four months. Uh huh. Yeah. How do you like? What do you love about South Africa? South Africa is just in and out to me. You understand? But as I can see, that's the reason why I travel to come here to learn more experience. This country is development. All right. So we are just not in our country. We don't have opportunity to work. We have the opportunity. That's why we learn there. But the 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 ex, like uh, experience and the technology is very high in Africa and South Africa. It seems like you go to Cape Town. It's like oh, where oh, this old building comes from? I'm here in a little London. You understand? Uh, uh. Yeah, that's how we are. We have to travel. We're going to be in Kenya one day. You're going to meet. You're welcome. You're welcome to Kenya. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Please. Hello, guys. The right? They appear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah. so we're going back home now. We're going other back road. home Hi, now. Hi, love. Yes. Are you good? So this is my home. This is where I stay. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> Close. Oh, mm -hmm. this is my home now. This is where I stay. It's where I stay and, um, I have got a lot of kids comes to my house every day. Some of them they learn homeworks. They learn there. You can see them there. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I've given them opportunity to learn. Yeah. And um, when you come That's inside okay. here, this is the dining room. I turned it into a studio. studio. Yeah, we are actually a registered NPO. We we have got our certificate here. Oh, this uh -huh. yeah, this is, we, call, we call ourselves Crossroads Africa. Okay. So um, it's Crossroads Africa. We work with kids. We use skills to take kids out of the streets. It has been helping a lot for me and uh, the other people because I've seen a lot of changes <laughs> coming in. So we have got good dancers, kids learning music. They learn to produce. And, uh, and sing as well. Yeah, sing as well. We also do filming. We teach them how to video rise, to edit the videos and stuff. And video That's what editing. we do here. Yes. Uh, what inspired What inspired you to do all that? Um, my dream is to be a president of Zimbabwe one day. So wow. I, I start very low by teaching others and see and learn from kids and other people. Mm -hmm. What inspired me to say that I want to be a president? It's not because I want to. Yeah. It's my calling. I discovered that I've got a calling of helping people. Uh -huh. And uh, as a Zimbabwean, I've discovered that Zimbabweans need help at a higher level of giving them assistance in terms from the way that we think, the way we do things. Because when I look at my country, I've discovered that it's no longer politics. We need people who are leaders who come to engage with people and understand how can they change their lives. All right. Well, so that would mark the end of this episode. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate And thank you so much, sister. Thank I appreciate you. your time. Thank you for showing us. And I wish you all the best, all thank the success so much, in Mercy. Thank you so much. All right. Thank so you. thank you so much for watching this amazing episode. I hope you truly enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and opinion in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe. And in case you want to contact him, I'll definitely leave a link and his contacts in the description box and until next time how would i say goodbye now there's a zimbabwean here there's a south africa now i want to say goodbye in both languages bye bye no 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 that's slang bye bye in slang how do you say goodbye in in casa yes yeah, man, yeah, Nisa Lega actually. Yeah. Okay, that one. That one. <laughs> and um in Shona. Famba is a kanaka. Sarah is a kanaka. Famba. Famba. Famba is a kanaka. Alright.